I'm presenter number 17 out of 30. There have been some fantastic talks, cures for glaucoma, cures for blindness. You're probably not going to remember me or True Vision other than the fact that I'm standing between you and the coffee break, which means that you've got to hold it for seven more minutes. So thank you for that in advance. I'm from True Vision. We're a small company out of Santa Barbara. We're a small company with a big story, and the story is digital surgery. Next slide. Let's see if this works. There we go. All right, why digital surgery? Why do we want to go digital? Well, your music is digital, your phone is digital, your news is digital, your car is going to be digital before you know it. Your surgery, your operating room should be digital too, right? What does it enable you to do? Visualization in digital technology allows you to add overlays, incorporate robotics, bring preoperative diagnostics into the room. It's a surgical cockpit so that you can see everything that you need to see during a case. Traditionally, Microsurgery, ophthalmic surgery is done through an analog device, the, the operating microscope, which has been around since the 50s. Zeiss and Leica have pioneered and done great work with that. We're moving to the next generation, the digital device. It's heads-up surgery. It disrupts the visualization paradigm by incorporating things like connectivity of other devices in the operating room, navigation. We change the way the depth of field, magnification is presented. We can do things with light and color, which have never been done before. And the goal ultimately is to improve the surgical experience, ergonomics, the patient outcomes, and the speed and healthcare, the, the benefits of healthcare. This is Dr. Praveen Dugal using one of our systems in Phoenix, Arizona, Scottsdale. And you can see that he's performing heads up surgery for retina. He's doing a membrane peel, and we're incorporating lots of new technology. There's a computing platform inside of this system which allows for apps to be used, not just for pr particular procedures, but even for steps within a procedure. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about that later. Dr. Rob Weinstock in Largo, Florida, performed a retrospective analysis, and he looked at one room where he had the 3D True Vision heads-up system and one room where he had traditional oculars. They pulled about 800 charts on a retrospective analysis, and you can see that his complications rate, the incidence of post of uh, post-capsular tears was much lower, almost a third of what he saw in the traditional room. And this is also one thing I want to note, is that this is with no change in surgical time. So he looked at the time for the surgeries, there are about six minutes, he does a very fast cataract, and there was no increase when he moved to a heads-up form. In that vein of apps and digital surgery, we have a tool called the IOL Compass. And thanks to our friends at Leica, they've been selling this for about two years now. We've had great success with it. It's augmented reality for microsurgery. It's augmented reality for anterior segment cataract surgery. There's overlays and templates on the screen and in the eyepieces that the surgeon can use to align toric lenses, to centro multifocal IOLs, to um, in implant things like the camera inlay from AccuFocus, which we heard about earlier today. And it incorporates preoperative devices from a variety of different sources. It's an open modular platform, open architecture, so that many different preoperative images and preoperative measurements can come into the operating room and be used in a heads-up fashion. We've got great clinical results for this product as well. As you can see, both limbal relaxing incisions and toric IOLs have been presented by a variety of luminary surgeons, some of the best in the world. They've shown roughly 87% of their patients are half adopter or better um, in terms of correcting astigmatism, which means that they don't need to wear glasses after they've had this surgery. So that's a tremendous outcome. You may have also seen the Ingenuity system from Alcon. We're very happy with our friends at Alcon who have been promoting this system for retina surgery. It's a digitally assisted vitro-retinal surgery system. And you can see here the second generation of this product, which will be incorporating data fusion in, in using the constellation instrumentation values right on the screen. So you'll be able to see things like the FACO flow rates, the cutter cut rates, the laser energy. Um, you'll be able to see all of this various information right on the screen to prevent errors and give better outcomes. So a nice way to improve surgical performance. There's also, it's a platform, so again, there's apps where we're encouraging lower light levels and new, color, new ways of using color to see membranes and dyes with lower concentrations for better, uh, better efficacy. And finally, rethinking ergonomics. 
In a heads-up fashion, surgeons are free to move their neck and back and shoulders, and we've had more than one doctor come up and tell us, you know, I think that this will add five to 10 years to my career as a surgeon. And that's a tremendous impact when you look at the changing demographics and what's happening with the aging population and the lack of ophthalmologists that we have in our society. This is an opportunity to extend that and deliver greater health care for a longer term period. Also, one other thing I want to point out, Dr. Mark Packer is one of our investigators on these, uh, some of the studies for the anterior segment work. He likes to, uh, I'm going to use this quote here, but he likens microsurgery to building a ship in a bottle. There's a very delicate, uh, diligent work. He says when he's working heads up with the 3D system, it's like driving a tractor out on the fields, cornfields in Nebraska. So it makes a big difference. It's much more immersive. The movements, everything is much more amplified and, and larger, gives him greater precision at the back of the eye or in anterior segment work. What about the systems sold? How many are out there? There's about 1,100 systems sold so far. There's quite a few True Visions in the world, but it's a small fraction of what's coming. That's only 4% of the addressable market. So there's a large opportunity to improve this, uh, this spread. What's next? So that's a retrofit on the existing microscope. What's next is the, the digital microscope as a, a standalone platform. We call this TrueScope internally. We've built about 10 units so far. We're under contract with a large German neurosurgical company that's going to be bringing this into neurosurgery in April of 2018. So it's just about two quarters away. You can see they took this system out to 92 international neurosurgeons. They compared the yellow bar is the standard neurosurgical microscope, which costs about half a million dollars. It's three to four times the cost of an ophthalmology scope. And you can see on a variety of parameters, they found that the digital system was either better or significantly better than what they were used to in the analog paradigm. And what's this gonna do in ophthalmology? Well, it's coming soon. Within about a year, you'll see this in the ophthalmology operating room with robotic control system that allows surgeons to see more, know more, and do better surgery. With that, I'm gonna close my remarks, invite you to visit us in Santa Barbara, and let me tell you, that is not me on the wave. I have no such skills. <laughs>